Alright everybody and welcome back to another episode of Over the Model Repentance. Today we're gonna hop in as Job because I I don't know. Before I started the episode, right? I was looking at my mods list and I was turning them all Oh god, where's my controller? Hold on. Alright, that was a great start to an episode. I know it, you know it, it's okay. Let's just quickly ban. Alright. Basically, because of how my can uh, my controls are set up, Sin Stones isn't great, but I'm hoping maybe we can get some use out of it. I mean a speed up's fine, right? But as you see right there. All the fires kind of do this little dance, and when they do a dance, they hurt enemies. It's just often not useful because A, there needs to be fires, and B, I think the enemies need to be close to the fire. So it's like a very, very situational idol. I idol? Yeah, it's an idol. No, uh, item. But it comes with a point to speed up, so I'm fine with it. But yeah, sorry about the whole controller thing. Uh, my keys are I, J, K, L for my shoot because I have a 60% keyboard and don't have arrow keys. And J is the Derules hotkey. And I know, ooh, Volatile Division. So... This is pretty cool. Whenever you get a bomb, uh, it also spawns with a throwable bomb. So you basically get like one free bomb that you can use every time you find a bomb, except it only works once per room because obviously it's like a throwable one. And that's like, I mean, that's really solid. Oh, wait a minute. That's really cool. I didn't know. Okay. So if I get something like the candle, which we wouldn't want because uh, we have the Book of Despair, which is genuinely like just much better than a candle. Actually, we'll even use it now because we have a big room beneath us. And as long as there's a singular enemy in there, this will be a worthwhile trade-off. But yeah, turns out that item, uh, the fire item works on not just firefighters. Like, well, I mean, it kind of is just firefighters, but you know what I mean. Like, it, it just, yeah, I'm, I'm stupid, all right? I'm tired. I just woke up. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, basically, 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 basically. Uh, the Derules, uh, cause I keep trying to say the same thing and then messing up so we're gonna finish even though I just did it again. The Derules mod menu is with J, and then the mod config menu is with L. And those are two of my shoot keys, so I'm literally just legally required to use, uh, controller if I am, uh, if I'm gonna be playing with those mods on. Derules isn't on, so I can shoot left, but mod config menu is on, so I can't shoot right. And you can change it in the mod config menu, but I, I'm just lazy. This is actually also really strong modded item not not only does it just oh this is really good show you the whole map but it opens both the secret rooms so for the rest of the game we get every secret room except the red room uh for free now the red secret room we see like you can see it on the map down there so if we ever do get eh i think we'll get enough bombs i believe volatile division also uh increases bomb drops but yeah so like it'll show us the red room oh boy can you kill him? Can you kill him, Mr. Fire? Please? Or do you not kill fire enemies? I, well, he really wanted to talk to that fire and say hello. Um, but yeah, so, Volatile Division, I believe, makes more bombs spawn, and that's good. That's really good for us. Batwing isn't actually a bad trinket. I used to not like it. Maybe we can, like, snag this? Okay, I mean, kind of useless, right? But not bad. We're just gonna take, I was gonna take Robo Baby, but like, well, Spider Baby, Spider Mob. But like, no, like, <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, we'll, okay, if there's combat down here, we'll use the book. That's, see, that's why you don't jump to conclusions. I was gonna use the book there. Well, I was gonna use the book in this room, because I was like, oh, there's another room down there. And then I realized, well, this room almost definitely had, oh, there goes that fucking soul heart. I mean, to be fair, if we didn't buy it, we'd be on like, two hearts right now to be worse we wouldn't have any soul hearts not that i mean that's the direction this is going right but you have to keep in mind uh this is an xl floor so by not having a soul heart we were saying hey i don't want to deal with the devil and i mean that's kind of true we don't want to deal with the devil but uh we do want also i really don't like gemini so we are going to be using our book here are there worse bosses for sure i just have a feeling we won't get one of the worst bosses because gemini he's not hard but he's annoying as hell and I'm, like, extremely tired. Last night, I, I don't know what's going on with my sleep, but like, um, my sleep is super weird. Like, I'm, my sleep schedule is sort of good, but it, for the weirdest reasons. And I'm not even going to... It's nothing that I can't get into. I totally can get into it. I just simply don't want to. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand fully, but I am basically, like, not going to lie. I am, like, half asleep. Every couple... Every, like, minute or two, uh, it's a hard container. Every minute or two, I just oh, this is the this is the kind of boss that I would have uh, rather had things done. No, come on, you're supposed to go down. You're supposed to go down. Come down, come down, come down. No, 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 no. You're supposed to come down. 
Dude, come on, just go down. Um, dude, I, okay, I am, without, with how tired I am, mixing that with this fight, not great. Though they did just take a very solid hit, which is good. Once one goes down, the fight gets two times easier. But we have to, oh god, we have to get one down, and that's the hard part. I hate every second of this. I, I like, I am at the point of tired where, like, everything is just, like, borderline slow-mo. But, like, also going at two times speed. You know what I, did anyone understand what I mean there? Thank you. We're not even gonna do, no, okay, we got a heart container. I say we peep the deal with the devil. What are you? Piece of chalk. I'm gonna turn around and room you leave a trail of powder. Is it a trinket? I don't really care for two of the same trinket for hurting myself. Plus, I do like Volatile Division. Okay. Um, let's check out the deal today. We weren't going to at first, but now now we are. And you know what? We're happy. Because here's the thing that I'm, I'm not sure I pointed out yet. We're going uh, we're going all path. So, having this knife is actually probably good because <laughs> I would like to win. Oh, boy. I am so tired. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, I'm, I'm super tired, and that's gonna you're gonna notice that in that in this run, it's gonna definitely impact it. But I'm hoping we can still like play kind of well. I am so like I have played this game tired so much that I okay. Listen, I was gonna say that I play better while tired. Well, not better, but that I can play well with while tired, and I still completely agree with that. Um, even after that room, because those enemies, how far away they can snipe you so unexpectedly is complete bs like you'll be standing across the world and you're like oh well i'm fine because i'm like actually 12 and a half years away from that guy and i'll just look at you and go yeah well yeah but like no and you're and it hurts um i have a feeling cricket's body does not work with mom's knife if i had to guess and a range down is pretty bad and now i'm all right like this is the problem with mom's knife okay i'm already sad that i took mom's knife because of cricket bo cricket's body like that's how long it takes for me to go, damn, this sucks. And that's not a good item. Um. Hello. Um. What's, what's going on here, bud? You, uh. You feeling okay? I'm, you know what mod I'm gonna blame this on? We've been having problems recently. I think I sorted it out. I think it's custom stage API. I think it's, I... Okay, actually, not having an icon here definitely hurt me. I also don't know why, but I really assumed I would spawn in, to, like, on the top of the room I wanted to go to. So, like, that's what happened there. But, yeah, like, it's gotta be custom stage API, basically. It's, it's the only thing I can logically think of, because... Also, like, in order to physically progress with the game, we need a bomb. So we're going to have to go to the Lost Room just to get a bomb. Because if we don't have a bomb, we can't... We'll, we'll just spawn in the bomb if we don't get one, obviously. But if we don't have a bomb, we can't progress. But yeah, like, Custom Stage API is the only new thing I've added recently. I know what you're thinking. Oh, why would you ever, like, use your bomb on a tinted rock? It's a set outcome, dude. Come on. It's a set outcome. Uh, the, the, even the chests in it, everything will be the same across floors, so, like, no need to worry about anything. Dude, just hit the, hit the man. We gotta, we gotta go fast. We're almost dead. Oh, boy. Yeah, but with Custom Stage API, it's the newest mod I've added, um, and it involves how rooms spawn. So, finding a room that's completely broken with no boss or boss item, I'm just saying it's probably Custom Stage API, you know what I mean? Like, that... That's kind of the math that I'm doing. And I would definitely say the math makes sense. It's just, it's check it out, right? Like, it's... I, I do, oh, yeah, we're going to Mother anyway, so we really had to come here. But it, it just, it makes sense. Uh, what we'll do... I'm going to teleport myself to a different place. Like, uh, let me see. There's no boss, right? Oh. So this is how this was supposed to work. Um... That's a little, this is just so weird, because, like, all we did from this is effectively lose out in a boss item, because we didn't want to fucking, you know, get, get, like, we were going to do this if it was Wormwood and we were, like, had a knife anyway. Uh, so we just lost out in a boss item because the boss didn't spawn, which is super weird. I don't know what's up about that. Um, it was definitely, like, a cool boss entrance, I guess. It's just, like, 
I don't really like it because it didn't work. Also, we we still literally have to spawn a bomb for ourselves. So let, what's the what's the bomb ID? Uh, don't worry about uh special specialist. For, oh wait, that's weird. I would have never thought specialist for good items is uh one of the ones that uh, actually got hurt. What do we? Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I think I think I have the ID. I'm very bad at uh, the command console, by the way. Um, and for those of you that leave nice comments saying like, hey, did you know that you can do this with the command console? I really appreciate it because here's the thing, right? The command, this is the, this is the most the command console. Oh wait, do they not even have a help? Oh yeah, their help is just down there. That is the most the command console has in, in like terms of help. And like you press spawn you're like, okay, this doesn't help. Like this, this is so much. So figuring out command console stuff is as simple as watching other people do it or figure it out yourself and for the most part what i did was i just i figured it out myself like that that's it i just i would fuck around and eventually i got it uh and, th and that's it and you know what i'm proud of myself for getting as far as i did oh it's already lit oh but no matter what it spawns in the middle right uh oh so there's a dot we're just gonna do this i know this is uh like wait is this called yeah, yeah, we had Book of Despair, right? Is that, that, you know what? I think that's right, but this looks like a different one, right? Are there two Books of Despair? Oh, there are. We'll give, uh... This is the right one. Okay. Uh, the other one was probably, like, I don't know, some tainted thing? So, okay, this episode is, like, all over the place. Sorry for the unorthodox methods of doing stuff in the weird episode today. But you know what? You know what? It's okay. You know, you know what? It's just, oh my god. It's just normal. Like, why is our damage so goddamn low? Wait, what happened to our damage? Oh, Job just starts with low damage because, uh, high fire rate. That is correct. Uh, if we get the chance to reroll, by the way, we're gonna reroll. Uh, I don't really like this run. Mom's knife, I picked it up because I was like, I need a safety net. But now we have Cricket's body and stuff waiting for us. But wait, but I mean, we can't really. Damn. Damn. I really. I messed up. Like, Mom's Knife is one of those items where if you need help, it becomes great because, you know, it helps. It does. It, it just makes it so you're more, you're less likely to die by, like, a long shot. However, it's also boring as hell, and I really don't like the item. Uh, so, like, I don't know. I just, I definitely regret picking it up, but at the same time, like, with the amount of health we had, it just seemed like, because you can survive on one heart on Mom's Knife easier than you can survive on, like, three hearts without it you know what i mean so i was just uh i was a hundred percent convinced the right choice to pick up bob's knife but now that we're uh here and we have the knife i realize that's completely wrong and i wish i didn't have the knife it's just like and i know a lot of people like bob's knife and i think it, it definitely got better remember back in the golden days where you like to throw it at an angle it was the most complicated thing in the world you had to like do a very precise button inputs yeah now like i mean see i mean like now you can kind of just wiggle your knife wherever you want and that's much better obviously that was like the right play you know what i mean like that that was just what it should have been to begin with and i'm glad it's there now i really am uh, i think the knife is much better i think the knife is really cool i think it's like a really really strong item but strong does not inherently mean good and i think that's uh one of the things people like isaac players tend to forget because like they'll just take any strong item and not worry about how fun their run is well, in all reality, I think it's 20 times better to, like, pick the bad but fun items and, like, roll with that run than, like, just the really overpowered, okay, I'm gonna win but nothing interesting will happen items. So, those, because those items suck, also, we really probably should have used that for this Tinted Rock. I saw the Tinted Rock, then went, no, 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 I need to kill the enemies. Um, but yeah. So, I'm definitely, okay, well, now I'm, once again, disappointed that I fucking, <laughs> that I used it already. Uh, oh... Yeah, 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 no, 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 this, this room isn't, like, actual ass or anything, this is fine. Yeah, yeah, this room, this, that room wasn't incredibly unfair. If we didn't have Mom's knife there, we were not making it out alive. Um, I wonder if that was monitored or not. We'll take this. Oh, good. Yes, sneezy knife. I think this is probably one of the worst combos in the game. Because, like, several reasons, right? Oh, my God, twinkle toes over here. Several reasons. When you get this combo, you're like, okay, I mean, good, because the knife is in close range, and, like, so is the sneeze. Like, both my damage sources. 
Your knife will 100% kill the enemy every time before you sneeze on them. Not necessarily bosses, but I also wouldn't recommend you sit inside a boss's faces, if I'm being honest. I just think that's a bad idea. The range down from Cricket's body is abysmal. So yeah, like, it's just not good. Like, it tries its best to be good. Um, I don't think the item is good ever, to be fair. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten this item and been like, oh boy. Like, it's really good as Tana the Zazel. But, like, it's just not good as anyone else. And I think that's kind of sad, because for most items, at least in my opinion, they did a really good job of, like, porting them over to other characters. Like, some Torium, right? You might not like it because the, the Claudies die, and that's completely understandable. Also, the Dead Trinket is now Forever Hours. But, uh, yeah, you might not like it because the Claudies die, but that's, that's unrelated to the item being ported over. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. That's unrelated to the uh, item being ported over to another character. That is simply how they made the item work now, so that that's, that doesn't even have a place in this argument. Uh, Sumptorium, listen, it works well. Uh, at, for other characters, it works less good than it works for Tainted Eve, but it still really... Well, I mean, it kind of works the exact same. But, like, I don't know. Tainted Eve just... It hits harder with Tainted Eve because of the lower, uh, lower fire rate. And that might seem like a bad thing at first, but lower fire rate is actually just really nice for uh, Sumptorium, so you don't accidentally uh, summon Claudius. Yeah, but I believe the secret room should be open now. Yeah, that's it's just like, it's so strong. Getting unlimited free secret rooms forever. Like every single secret room for the rest of the game, we will just be able to walk inside of for what? I don't know, exploring the level. Like, yeah, you have to explore, but I'm not gonna bum rush the boss and leave. I'm, I've never been that kind of player to begin with. And I guess if you are, then you're gonna hate this item. But like, if you're that kind of player, odds are you don't live long enough to care about how good your items are because you're dead 24 seven. Um, don't rush an Isaac, guys. And, like, you can... Once you're strong enough, feel free to rush, right? But, like, for the most part, just don't do it. It just doesn't help. Uh, rushing, all it does is get you less stuff. And, like, less stuff makes the game harder. So, unless you're just looking for a challenge, don't rush. Like, hey, there's no point. Um, or if you're, like, really... Or, hey, or if you're a speedrunner, or if you're late for dinner, right? So, okay. There, there's, like, a couple situations in which rushing works. But, like, not many. If you're just casually playing, don't rush. What do we got in the devil field? Okay, well, this is not a Satan arena. Let me tell you that for free. Let me, let me tell you that right now. This is not the kind of arena I want to be fighting Satan in. Oh, good. He can fly over the gaps. No, no, no. no that's honestly very huge. That's it. Well, now I feel obligated to grab Guppy's eye. The only problem being... Oh, wait, no. I... Can I grab it for the heart? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't want to fucking... I just really didn't want to buy Monster Man. Well, yeah, it's two-thirds Bookworm, but, like... Bookworm with Mom's Knife, I just... I don't want I don't know. I just don't care. All right, moving on to mine, too. We have our first knife piece. We're Sorry, key piece we're going on. Hell yeah. Um, I am... I have fairly high hopes for this round. I feel like this can go well. I mean, the fact that we're in the Ash Pit now does definitely, like... Makes my hopes lessen, right? Like, for sure. Oh, boy. Uh, the Ash Pit is... The worst floor that's ever been added to Isaac. Uh, there's genuinely not a worse floor in the game. If you think there's a worse floor, you have clearly never been to the Ash Pit. Also, I love how we have this bandage over our, our eye. And instead of that being true, we just have a guppy's eye over the bandage. So that means we have two eyes right now. I don't... I was going to say, I don't understand how Gigabombs work. Do they have projectiles? And then I got... And then I saw the projectile coming towards me and immediately knew I had lost. Uh, that hurt. Oh, I don't- I don't think I asked a question of the day. I might have even started and got sidetracked. Um, damn. What is- what is your favorite- I want to say console-exclusive game, but I feel like that's so rude because I'm just going to talk about Pokemon, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. What is- what is your favorite console-exclusive game that you've ever played? That can be for, you know, PC, I guess. If- if it's never come out on another console, I guess I will let- I will- because, like, there's some people here that I've never played in the console, right? That don't want to. So I will give you PC lovers your, your moment to shine. And just, you can completely break the question by answering with a PC title. Um, but for the most part, we're looking for uh, PlayStation, Xbox, Ninten any Nintendo. But listen, I did say exclusive, so we gotta be real though. If it is uh, a game that was on like the DS and then got ported to 3DS, that doesn't count. That's two consoles, okay? It's a game that was on the 3DS and got ported to Switch, which I don't even know if there are any, but you know what I mean. That wouldn't count. 
Uh, I would have to say 100% my favorite console exclusive is Legends Arceus. That game has been phenomenal. Now, I am past the initial hype, so I'm in this place where, like, I'm much more sane about it, right? It's not like a 100% no-life thing. Like, I get my job done, and then I'll play it for, for as long as I... Oh, my fucking god, dude. That was, uh, that was awful. But yeah, like, I'll get my job done, and then I'll start, uh... And then I'll start no lifing it a little. You're you're gonna you're really okay. I thought we thought we couldn't get bath. I was like, you're really gonna do that? All the devil hand from the possible player on elementary devil hands is any item from the room shop including the player. player. The item taken for the devil hand really angry punch the gun feeling a shock leave. Okay, so we use it walking into a devil deal is what I'm hearing. Like you walk into a devil deal with it, you use it, it'll steal the item. That does not sound great. It doesn't sound bad. It just sounds like a free devil dealer shop item. But you know what? We're gonna use it now. Thank you, Devil's Hand. Keeper's Penny, shop up. I mean, I think that's going to be improved shops, right? That, that's kind of the only thing that adds up here. Inventory. Quality four. Spawns a golden penny upon entering any floor. Shops, shops will not sell one to four additional items that are drawn from the shop from the shop treasure or boss item pool. If the shop is a greed fight, instead of spawns three to four items, they put up that. What? That's so good. Like, that's actually really freaking good. I, and to think, if I didn't get that card, I would have never got that item. Lusty Blood, also phenomenal. Wow, that's like, that's honestly just so, so, so fantastic. Also, free item over here. I mean, relatively free. We do have to... We can bomb back in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have to fight for it, but... You know, fighting for a luck upgrade is not something I actually enjoy doing, because this boss is awful. Then again, we're on the Ash Pit, so I don't know why I came here in the first place. Oh, I thought that Luck Penny was going to make it so it was too late to, uh, like... Oh, boy. Oh, we got, like, the two worst bosses from this floor. This guy can just sometimes get some, like, absolutely free damage on you. But we handled it. You know, we're fine. Uh, but, yeah, I thought picking up that Luck Penny was going to get me hit by the boss. Because uh, there's you get, like, stun-locked by the Luck Penny. Because, of course. And I was like, oh, well, let's see. Yeah, we're just totally just going to die. That's a lot of fucking lag. That's a... I didn't trust it. I, that one changed. You saw it. That one... That one started as one thing and then changed to a bomb, and I was like, "You serious? Like you real? You're not lying to me? Do you promise?" And I had to figure out because I'm I'm gonna I just I'm a non-trusting person, okay? I don't trust people, and I definitely don't trust chests that say they're gonna be something else and then lie and they're like, "Oh, I'm a bomb." Duct tape is kind of trash if we're being real. It can be good. It can be situationally good, but on average, I would say it is definitely not good. So so we won't take it. Uh. Two rocks down here for crawl space. One rock down there for crawl space. Got it. Didn't happen. Duct tape. We've talked about you. All right. Don't forget the knife piece. Then we got to go to the mausoleum, which is the scariest part about this run because the mausoleum fucking sucks, dude. The mausoleum is so, like, the floor sucks, but getting there requires so much goddamn health. I know it's just two hearts, but it's like two full hearts. What? And it takes soul hearts first. The, how you can, like, buff that and make it less completely aggravating is make the door like every other self damage thing not every other I understand it's like cursor and sacrums but i don't care like a lot of other self damage things just make the door take red hearts because soul hearts it's so unfortunate when you're in a situation like mine where you just haven't had much health all run um and then you get to mausoleum and you basically have to kill yourself just to keep going on the path and it's like excuse me why why would i ever like why like like, very simply, why? What I like about Job is, uh, because of his base 4.29 fire rate, the mo Mother Chase scene, I mean, it's still the Mother Chase scene, right? You can still get tickled a little and take damage just because that's what happens. But he breaks poops and uh, TNT barrels and everything so much faster that he does make it easier. Not easy, just easier. Oh, boy. You see those pro gamer skills? I bet you didn't know about these fucking sweet-ass shortcuts. Ready? Yeah. Get rid of that. And it's just saying, we, we got there before the bomb exploded, therefore that was a time save, therefore we are the most optimal people on the planet. And just like that, proving once and uh, once and for all that Job is a goaded character. Can we leave before that happens? We cheated the system. She hasn't even stopped crying. Oh, good. Well, it's been so long since I've seen this guy. Oh, good. He starts off with this attack. Honestly, it's a really good attack where he, do where he always goes the exact direction he was saying and never like goes anywhere else ever. The double mom's knife thing is definitely weird. I'll tell you that for free. Oh, boy. Saw those spikes coming. Uh, midnight snack is 
great because of the uh, HP problems we're about to find. And thank you for the soul heart. I mean, soul rock. There we go. The the door wasn't that bad to us right there, only because we happened to get two soul hearts for the boss fight and a health upgrade. Well, that wouldn't have been good. Okay, we have two more shops. And our, both of our shops are really, really, really good. Like, they're going to have... If we can get a Creed in one, that'd be, that's what you kind of want, right? Because Creed will drop three to four items. And that I don't know if you can pick up all of them or just one. Even if it's just a one type thing where you can only pick up one of the items. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, that's still really goddamn good. Can, can you take this Rotten Heart? No. Damn. I was really hoping you would just take the Rotten Heart first because... Yes, I like flies. No, we don't have the damage for me to care enough about flies to want a rotten heart. Like, rotten hearts are really only even semi worth it when you have a ton of damage. Because at that point, like, yeah, the fly is going to be doing like 80 damage, right? So you might as well just sacrifice, like, have a heart. But in the. Th thank you, game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, in the situation we're in now where we just don't have. Why did you drop. Why did he drop. He dropped a freaking. Uh, Vane retro thing. That was weird. But yeah, the situation we're in now, it just, it doesn't matter. Uh, Nancy bombs aren't that good. Shard of blood, shard of blood. Oh god, hello, Creed. Why does it say greed? It's supposed to say Creed. What the hell? Why is my game so messed up? Oh, they're all purchasable, but we got Steam sale. Okay, this is gonna be broken. What's your birthright? Every empty heart container, I mean, might as well, right? Um, and we'll take this. Now all we want is some soul hearts. So, that just goes to show you how overpowered the item we got was from a... Really didn't think that was a thing. Uh, now we need to drain... I mean, Shard of Blood, right? I don't like it. However, it does drain our red hearts. When we drain our red hearts, we get tears up. What was that noise from? Like, I know, like, I'm trying to... It's like a rolling thing, but from what game? Was that like Mario Kart? Oh, good. Just fucking good, dude. Honestly, that was this. That was the smartest thing I've ever seen you do. That one was really good. Yeah, was that? I don't know what the. And if it wasn't from Mario Kart, it, excuse me, saying was that from Mario Kart? I'm not a very educated video gamer. All right. Um. Yeah. So I'm like super concerned about this run right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. It seems a little like definitely losable. We just have some fancy shit going on that I don't want to mess with. Like, specifically, I'm talking, we have, uh, blood, uh, blood, blood. <laughs> you know, the classic item, blood of blood. It's my, it's just, it's not my favorite. These guys can't shoot at an angle. That is their biggest weakness. The only thing is, that usually doesn't matter, because you usually can't shoot at an angle. So it's like, what is that? How does that actually affect you? Um, okay, we'll take this now, and we'll grab this. Careful of those up there. So we want to lose red hearts, right? We want to have empty red heart containers, but we don't want to have empty red heart containers until we have some actual soul hearts. Because, like, tears ups are great, but it's also mom's knife. And, like, tears up, I don't remember how they affect it exactly. Obviously, it affects charge time, but I believe there's, like, more. I think it might affect damage somehow. I just don't know how. I don't know if it's, like, a DPS thing where, like, you know, uh... What the fuck is this? Most of them are spiders, but you know what we're gonna do, right? Like, come on. Like, come on. It's basically free money, and I, ha I have a plan to one-up this even further. Thing is, we don't need this much money. We'll take some nickels, though, for sure. Okay, these spiders need to go, because I'm trying to get out of here without touching too much money. In case you haven't figured out, we're gonna soul of Eden in here in D20 and just see what happens. There's, a, there's like a lot of consumables in here, you know? I think d 20 could be fun, and usually, Soul of Eden is always used for the same thing. Reroll an item, right? Reroll an item into another item, and like, haha, really good, haha, whatever, whatever, whatever. That is just so overdone. I think we should, I think we should do something different. And then, I think we should be, I think we should be better about this. Is that a trinket? Probably. Okay. Um, I think we're about ready. Okay. We got a lot of health. I see it scattered about. And we didn't get much in terms of chest, which is kind of what... I'm very glad that that's not even modeling clay, which is the thing I was told I was getting. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh, good modeling clay. I didn't have to say it out loud, because like I'm pretty, I was just pretty sure everyone saw it. 
And then what happened is just it got completely yoinked from us. That's why Guppy's eye sucks, okay? Gulp. We're going to gain modeling clay permanently, by the way. Um, yeah, this room, honestly, hurts. Nope, okay. This room, honestly, was pretty darn good for us. Like, it's not the best thing ever, but we gulped two trinkets. We got a decent amount of health. Um, we got a luck up. Hematemesis. I will grab this much health. There we go. And we got a hematemesis, which is also really good. That secret room, listen, listen, listen. I'm not going to say it was a genius play, because it wasn't a genius play. Uh, using uh, Eden's thingy is, like, so normal, right? Like, I'm pretty sure everyone does that. They use it as a d20 occasionally. But, like, it felt special to me, because I never do it, and I'm not smart. Let's, okay, I was going to say let's run and grab a half harp. We don't even need to run. All right, what do you got? Um... We don't have, like, any damage. All right. Like, look at our upgrades. Let's see. Uh, speed, mapping, health, box, knife, tears, speed, sneeze, money, health, guppy, shop, lusty blood, which is our damage, luck, health. Yeah. The only damage we had for this entire run was, and obviously we have mom's knife, which is why it didn't matter, but the only damage we had for this entire run was lusty blood which doesn't even proc all the time. So, you know, uh, taking Dark Matter, it's good. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's it's fine. I don't mind having our first damage, like our first true damage upgrade of the run, uh, now that we're on the Gehenna 2. It just it, it just seems it seems acceptable. Um, I'm hoping we can just get to the shop soon, I'm not going to lie. Oh, the shop's going to be a little whack. What's this, yogurt? It's not yogurt. I wanted my fucking yogurt. Absolute liar. Uh, yeah, so Curse of Blight Shop means we're gonna have to pay, uh, close attention, because, truth be told, I just, I'm not good at looking at things and going, that is what this thing is, so we're gonna have to be careful, because if, if we get it wrong, we can buy either a really bad item or just an item we, an item we don't want or an item we don't need and then waste our money, like, that. really, dude, I know we can probably still grab that, but I ain't risking it. Oh, I was just thinking, like, why the hell do we shoot a blue fire? We have modeling clay, so anything that weird that happens, we can just blame on modeling clay. And that time, I believe it was actually modeling clay's fault. Okay. Hurt us. I mean, the one thing, the one good thing about Shattered Glass, right, is it does proc on hit items and has a chance to spawn health. So, like, it's kind of like a really weird dull razor in a way, where it'll proc the on hit effect uh, and sometimes heal you. So it's not exactly a dull razor, right? But at the same time, it's not an active item, so you don't have to, like, you have your only active item slot for it. I don't know. I've always hated Shard of Glass, but, like, I've been slowly coming around to it in terms of, like, I've started seeing use cases for it recently, and, like, that's more than I could ever say for it before. Didn't I? Oh, that's a double golden bomb. Well, listen, I will actually take that. Normally, I wouldn't, but, like... The odds we can blow up enough uh, skulls to make that worth it is almost 100%. Like, there is such a good chance that we end up getting something that's like, okay, that's really good. All right. That's Dull Razor, Blue Map, BFF. Uh, I want to say Attack Chub and Headless Baby. Okay, I'm completely wrong. Okay, I am right. I was right about everything unless it's Boga Bombs. Okay, Blue Map. I was right about everything except, like, one thing. And listen, that's pretty good, right? It, like, we got... Sure, we got mom's underwear and headless baby mixed up but like that's that's still good but that that's still good right please show me validation why did that so big oh we have tiny bombs in this room i was like um excuse me sir that doesn't something seems mighty off about that all right thank you for thank you for hitting me again i guess okay well there goes our deal with the devil chance because we decided to walk into these guys Instead of just playing the safe game and pressing these buttons, which is, like, legitimately how you're designed to do the room, we said, hey, no, let's fight them, lose all of our health, and then cry about it. So that's good. I'm glad I'm glad that I make such uh, good choices. It's honestly, it's my best quality. Just my decision-making is off the charts. Why the, why the hell? Okay, the one thing about this room that gets me is every time I have this room, every time, all right, I will without fail say, okay, I need to go bring these chests child lease i mean it's it's definitely a thing right um i need to bring these chests to the barrel else i'm doing it wrong do you understand how useless that is half the time half the times you'll go in there with like 40 bombs and you'll be like okay now i just gotta walk this over the barrel and it's like what are you doing what like why are you walking over to the goddamn barrel 
the time you invested on this was actually not even close to worth the, uh, like, what you got out of it. It's not even funny. All you did was save, like, a couple of your three million bombs, and what'd you get? Like, some rocks. In the, and most times, that's probably a book, and listen, that is book for him, right? That's not a book. Thank you. We're just gonna use it so that way when we take damage, we lose it and people get pissed. Unless, uh... Shard of Glass ignores that. Oh, it ignores it. The whole point was to upset you, and now I just look like a fool. Oh, God. Like, this room design is really clever and quirky and cool and stuff, but, like, I also don't like it. I, <laughs> I also think it's annoying. Now we got Bookworm. We should have just taken the random item. The Bible, though. The, the Bible? The Bible. The Bible is okay. All right. Uh, time to just go. I mean, I guess we're going to the corpse. There is a chance we see a mod modded boss in the corpse because we do have it installed. And that, that's part of the reason I wanted to go and go to the mother fight in modded. Because, like, we have a, a modded boss here. Yet, because we never go to mother, it doesn't matter. Okay. We take the damage. Because if we're being honest, uh, Polaroid protection is for babies. Like, Polaroid protection used to 100% be the meta. Like, you would just run a build where your entire build was, I have permanent Polaroid invincibility and I can never die. That's just not a thing anymore. Like, I don't know what changed, if anything changed at all, but like, back in the day that literally was, oh, like, 10 times out of 10, the meta. Either way, I like the negative. I like that they gave the negative the use, because... I think what happened was, they gave the negative, uh, damage and said, okay, well, because I have damage, I am now the best item in the game, because... What happened there? Um... I know I was... What? Was I... I was probably just standing inside of an enemy, but I took damage the second, and I mean the literal second I walked into that room. So, like, what? I actually have no clue what just happened. Uh, we just almost died from walking into a room. Now, there's probably something really obvious going on. I would like to remind you once more. Um, I am so tired. Like, I am super duper tired. As you can tell by the amount of damage we've taken in, like, two seconds, right? I am so goddamn tired. But, like... What? Okay. But, like, at the same time, even though I'm tired, I really thought... Like, I really didn't think there was anything hitting me, but uh, there had to have been, right? Like, there's no way I was just getting hit by nothing. My guess is there was something small, like a maggot or something I was standing on that I actually walked into and sort of fed into the uh, problem. I actually really like this room. This room is uh, designed to potentially spawn these rocks, so you can get this crack key, so you can open this. Assume all item headed to the room, give me three lemon get and wish for each item consumed. Um, I've had that before, and I think it's not good i don't think lemageddon wisps are good i think they are really good if you don't have to give anything to get them to get them but like all the items that are like hey you know suck up this and get a lemageddon wisp it's like well i think i would just rather have uh i think i would just rather have fucking like the item like at least because eventually you're gonna lose it right eventually you're gonna lose that wisp so like yes you gain three items and it's really good and that, that actual item, the reason it's good, is because if you get a really trash item, bam, problem solved. Like, it's not, it doesn't matter if you get a trash item because, oh god, there's a gap, there's a gap, there's a gap. I never noticed that goddamn gap. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I did not want to walk into that. We have an ultra secret room. Oh boy. I just walked into it because it was a chest and I was like, ooh, pretty chest. We have a, like, we have a guaranteed ultra secret because of the, the map item, and we just walked into that and lost our crack key. It's, okay, well, now we're at the point, obviously. First of all, no, no modded enemy. Boss, sorry. Which is fine. And in fact, we got my least favorite boss in the entire game, by the way. I have never liked this guy, and I, I just hate him. I actually, I still don't even know his patterns well, to be fair, but I fucking hate him. I despise that boss. I think that boss is, like so difficult like there's there's hard bosses for sure uh but i think he's like harder than mother the only thing that he's quote unquote uh not hard about is the fact that he dies so quickly because he's just a regular boss where like mother on the other hand doesn't at all um okay i don't i think we want to go up to the right i'm, I'm trying to like Thing is, we're on such low health. I mean, we're not really on too low health right now, but we've been taking so much dumb damage that I believe we will be on low health by the time we get to the mother fight. So I'm trying to 
minimized. Also, by the way, I'm just now realizing if it was a maggot attacking me in that room, because like what I thought it was was creep. But if it was creep, where the hell did the creep come from? And second of all, I wouldn't know because I was like I walked into the room. There was all okay. If we get a cracked key from this, we get we actually get our first ultra secret room of the run. Ow. Also, just to show for anyone that's like, oh, like the ultra secret pool is fine because like you like you know it's not like it's not that bad or whatever. To prove how bad it is. Um, and to prove how rare they are, even with mods that allow cracked keys to spawn, like, a lot more, and full mapping showing, thank you guys for being such really fun and really awesome, amazing enemies, and, uh, and an item that shows where the ultra secret rooms are every floor, we've only had the option to get two of them this entire run, and that is while knowing all their locations and everything. Um, obvi and, like, in the, and at the end of the day, we didn't even get one of them, right? Like, we didn't. At the end of the day, we still fucked one up, even knowing its location and everything, so... Hopefully we get this one. Uh, I, I don't know, but I really hope so. If we can get this one... Oh, we can get this one. We can get this one. We just have to go clear, like, a singular room. Go back, clear a room, get the ultra secret room, feel happy, because we actually got all... It's gonna be nothing. I still have yet to get a good item, and I'm not kidding. This is not, like, an over-exaggeration. I have yet to get a singular good item. Like, like, good, good. I'm not saying, like... I've probably gotten, like, Candy Heart, which is fine on occasion, right? But I've yet to, got, uh, to get an actual, like, good item. We're talking Sacred Heart. We're talking anything that helps my run a significant amount. Not gotten one once. Not a single fucking time. That's how that's how bad the Ultra Secret Room Pool is. Not, like, before the update. Obviously, it was the Angel Pool, which is a problem. But, like, at least I got good fucking items. Like, that... Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I get it now. I was like, yep, yep, <laughs> okay, you know what? That eye is really good, uh, I can't be upset about that. I was like, are you, uh, I was genuinely, ow, fucking bitch, never do that again. Um, anyway, I was genuinely so goddamn angry. Like, I was like, are you kidding me? Because that was definitely a modded room for sure. I was like, are you kidding me? Who, like, who decided to make a worse ultra fucking secret room? Like, they already got worse. Why would you do this to anyone? No, I, I that was a really funny and actually really strong room too. Because just the D20 in there uh, with all the poops was really strong. Uh, oh, yeah. Now we're on the mother fight, by the way. Who Mother fight's not easy, right? Uh, but as long as you're, like, kind of good at the game, you can manage. I'm super tired right now, so I'm not going to lie. Is it, like, we've already taken so much more damage than I would like to in the first phase, but we also have 17.84 rate of fire. Um, so, that's good. And I think it's gonna go higher. I don't know when Book of Despair caps out, but, uh, I know it does cap out. Okay, we're at 20 rate of fire, so, like, the fastest knife in the West, pretty much. And then there's Bloody Blood Blood. Okay, Shard of Blood? <laughs> Shard of No? Stop walking it. You know what you're doing. Like, stop doing this. Okay. This is the attack that requires the most focus, in my opinion. That's the, hard that's the hardest attack. And I've actually, like, semi-recently learned how to do it. Alright, Mother is down. It's just genuinely not a bad fight. If I can do it while, like, gen like literally sleep-deprived, it's not that bad. And we unlocked a new item for our overly modded series because, yes, Job has unlocks. And look, we have 23.39 rate of fire. But anyway, thank you. So much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you please. And I'll see you next time.